Bro, you ain't the thinker. Get the fuck out of the frame. <laughs> you ain't the thinker, you the thought. Curiosity. It's better than your favorite slice of life manga. And here's why. Now, I was originally going to do this review in the comfort of my own home. But for a show like Curiosity, I decided to talk about it in nature. Here are awesome. It's better than your favorite slice of life manga. I'm gonna tell you why. I got myself my notes. Hey. Hello. Hello there. Everyone has their fast food of anime. Something they just sit down and enjoy. Kind of like how I enjoy a McDouble at McDonald's. I just <laughs> inhale that shit, you know what I mean? For most people, it's Echi's. Slice of life. For others, it's Isekai. For others, it's a nice power fantasy. You know what my degenerosity is? Slice of life anime. Every time I get home after a hard day, I put on my Tadakun is listless. Hey, real quick, I just wanted to take a second to appreciate the art because I forgot to talk about that. Look at this shit! Look! Look at the detail. Anyways, I put on my my Nichi Joes, my 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 oh my god, I blanked. What's that one called? The guitar. Oremo. No. Fuck. They do this, man. Kono Oto Tomare. No, no. Bochi. Bochi, yes. I have to say, I have watched a lot of Slice of Life in my life. But I'm here to tell you that Hiriyasumi is better than all of yours. And it's even better than your fucking slice of your favorite Slice of Life. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. It's better. Okay. Because it manages to be a series that is chill, enjoyable, but yet also is real, well written, and even at times, thought provoking. Hiroyasumi is about Hiroto Ikuta and his cousin Natsumi Kobayashi, as they live in a house in Tokyo that was given to Hiroto by an old friend who has since passed. So what makes it special? Well, like a lot of slice of life, it truly does immerse you in the daily lives of these characters. However, it's not afraid to be real. A lot of the time, you'll be watching these characters, but it's kind of like bullshit. They don't really feel real. They're, what are they doing on their free time? They're making strawberry cakes. They're making bento boxes. Nobody fucking does that, okay? Take Kobayashi, for example. What does she do? She drinks underage, throws up in a, <laughs> on a subway platform, and gets left behind by the rest of her college friends. She like me for real. Other times that it's real, like when Hiroto, is hanging out with his friend Hideki. They're shooting the shit. You're reading that shit. You're enjoying your time. And then boom, Hideki blindsides you, fucking shoots you in the face. Hey, I'm having a kid. I can't hang out as much anymore. Sorry. Boom. It hits you in the heart because everyone has felt these emotions, drifting apart, wanting to fit in, drinking, a lot of drinking in college. Hey, parts from the future. I just wanted to hone in on the point that Hiroyasumi is like 10 times more relatable than the typical slices of life I've read. The manga touches on themes of loneliness, feeling behind, confusion of what path to take in life, self-doubt, as well as less serious but equally relatable topics such as being fucking lazy, to clean the house, eating out too much, being a, being a little awkward, you know, I don't know. I just feel like the things Hiroyasumi touches on are truly more relatable than like Oh, I ate a bento box and went to the park and a tea, and I'm a part of a student council, and I found a love letter in my locker. And type shit, you know, like, like, the chill things that you enjoy watching a slice of life, but that low-key aren't relatable, you know? You don't feel like you're watching a drawing. You feel like you're actually in, like, a reality TV show with these people, seeing how they go about their daily lives, making it ten times more invested. Every character is just as bit flawed as they are, you know, good in some ways. Or, you know, they have their passions. They have the things they like, they don't like, their vices, the things that make them good, the things that make them annoying. And it's a breath of fresh air.
feature me again. Just hitting up with some closing thoughts. Hiryasumi does not get melancholic or down on its characters, despite bringing up problems that people actually face in their lives. So don't worry, it's not a bummer or a melodrama or anything like that. Actually, the main message I take from the show is that it's okay to have problems and still enjoy your life. It's okay to have a sense of stillness and peace in your life. To actually enjoy the small moments you have with the people you love, even if everything isn't perfect. The manga never treats not so ideal situations as a bad thing. It shows that whatever stage you are in, in your life, it's perfectly okay. Showing that you can still be lost in life and just explore it, have a good time. Be okay with the journey that we call life. So yeah, in short, go watch it. It, it really is a special slice of life. Sometimes you gotta close the door to open a window. Bismillah. Mi amor. He doesn't even know I'm taking this right now. He's gonna be looking through the footage and he's gonna be like, Oh, that silly will. I'm recording on my phone again. <laughs>